I think the current uh, high yield markets in Asia uh, has assumed quite a, quite an excessive uh, default risk, in our opinion. I mean, we certainly have some high profile uh, Chinese property uh, distress and default scenario, but the market actually is very bearish beyond these uh, uh, current uh, situations. So we think that like certainly volatility is high because uh, the property sector continue to attract a lot of uh, headlines uh, attention. Plus, uh, the Chinese uh, policy reform is somewhat unpredictable, which adds uh, more pressures uh, to the uh, to the higher market and especially from the Chinese sector. However, we think that the fundamental continue to um, present a very good uh, backdrop uh, if you are a more medium term investor. So we do think that like the, uh, the default risk is too high in terms of current spread and, and uh, potential uh, return will be quite uh, meaningful uh, if you are able to stomach the uh, near term volatility. We are looking at something at least six to 12 months uh, before the market uh, really settle down. And we do have that policy risk stemming out of China, uh, as you mentioned, but also COVID does continue to be a really major story in this part of the world particularly in Southeast Asia. How is that affecting things in the fixed income and currency space? Okay, I, I think you are very right uh, in terms of the COVID-19. Uh, I think uh, in general, it is quite well contained uh, overall. Uh, but in terms of the Southeast uh, Asian countries, uh, given the vaccination process and some of the containment measures are not as effective as places like, uh, for example, in China or Hong Kong or even Singapore, so I, I think the the sort of the recovery there is somewhat uh, will take longer time, um, and therefore will affect the sort of the economic situation and the some of the policies there. We think that the uh, the impact to the dollar um, bonds in the Southeast Asia will be quite limited, partly because of the the bond supply there are quite 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 small. Uh, so technical there will remain supportive. But I think the impact to the local currency side will be higher, uh, given the fact that uh, they will be more sensitive to the local uh, policy and economic situation. Right. Uh, Arthur, good morning. To me joining this conversation, where have you been buying in the region? Uh, I think at the moment, we continue to like the, uh, some of the selective commodity sector, because um, uh, given the global logistics situation, uh, commodity prices continue to be well supported and uh, more upward pressures. Uh, but of course, uh, there are momentum uh, potentially slow down given the, uh, the growth situation in China. Uh, but selective uh, commodity sector could, uh, remains our, our one of the preferred uh, sector at the moment.